latest edition of Muhlenberg College Plays of the Week. At number 15, Tim Buda caught a 69-yard touchdown pass against your sinus last year. This one not quite as long, 56 yards, to give the Mules a lead in the third quarter. At number 14, field hockey against nationally ranked your sinus, Abadiglio scores this goal in the fourth quarter to bring the Mules to a 1-1 tie. At number 13, three members of the women's cross-country team, senior Hadley DeVarens, sophomore Ava Lundy, and senior Ellen McGuire, all ran personal bests at the Paul Short Run. At number 12, volleyball at Newman, and its freshman Olivia Bruno, it's not just a nice dig, it's also a kill. And number 11, back to volleyball, but this is volleyball student assistant coach Catherine McGuire making her debut for the Muhlenberg women's golf team, sinking this putt in the first collegiate golf match of her career. Nice reaction, Catherine. At number 10, what a day for junior Dante Mahaffey in the football game against her sinus. Against the Division III leader in punt return yardage, he made these two tackles for losses on punt returns, the second one causing a fumble that was recovered by J.J. Ramirez Rojas. At number 9, men's soccer co-captain Evan Schlotterbeck had only one goal in his career before last week, and then he scored in back-to-back -back games. Last week in the 4-2 upset at 9th ranked Dickinson, and this one against Haverford, Schlotterbeck starts the play with a corner kick and finishes it off the pass from Sam Roberts. At number 8, sophomore Mark Sebastian Montalvo finished 12th and 9th among Division three runners at the Paul Short Run. He got a t-shirt, and he also got on Plays of the Week. At number 7, it wouldn't be Plays of the Week without Megan Stairs, who made more great saves in the Mules games against Arcadia and Gettysburg, her 123 saves this season, tied for second most in Division Three. At number 6, Joe Rapetti tied a school record with six touchdowns against her sinus. This wasn't one of them, but the 61-yard run, the longest by a Mule quarterback since 1994. At number 5, Volleyball 5th set at Newman, Mules trailing 10-8, before scoring five straight points on kills by Olivia Bruno and Kelly Ankeo, back-to-back aces by Abigail Oswari, and a block by Esme Oler and Olivia Bruno, and then Oswari finishes off the match with a kill, the Mules win in five sets. At number four, back to Lehigh Country Club for another nice long putt, this one by Alex McCauley, who finished third, just one stroke off the lead, shooting a 75. At number three, early in the women's soccer game at Gettysburg, Gettysburg, after a goal kick, tries to clear the ball on a pass into the middle, but junior Anna May picks off the pass and shoots it off a bullet defender and into the goal for her fourth career goal, giving the Mules a 1-0 lead. Number two is for the impact made by men's soccer freshman Thomas Schreiber in the second and third games of his career. Against Haverford off the corner kick, Trevor Makuda heads it, and Schreiber knocks it in for his first career goal. And then at Gettysburg, off the long pass from Sam Roberts, Schreiber has his initial shot saved, but gets the rebound and cuts it back to freshman Salim Jaquite, who scores the tie and goal. And at number one, from 1900 through 2023, the Muhlenberg football team had three pass plays of 90 yards or longer. The Mules now have two this season. The latest, this 92-yarder caught by Matthew Manning in the Mules' Friday night game against her sinus. Long plays like this, one of the reasons the Mules lead Division Three in total offense per game, and that's our number one play of the week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more great plays next week. Go Mules!